Sometimes, it's more often than you think, you're gonna have scroll trouble in Excel. Now, what does that mean? Well, that basically means this. Somebody did this. So, if I was to input something in sales from A3 to A100, so like this, and I input some data like this, at this point, my scroll bar goes all the way down to A100, which is not, you know, surprising. If you want to know how to input data this fast, watch this video. And now, let me show you what happens then. If somebody decides, well, I'm going to go to A200 or A300, and I'm going to input a date in there. And then I'm just going to delete this, you know. And at this point, where does my scroll bar go to? Well. A300, obviously. And if I now go back to the top, actually all the way to the top, and save this file, see the problem is all the data in this Excel goes down to 100. That's my data. But the scroll bar goes down to 300. Now, why does it do that? Well, basically it does that because when we input data into that cell, it was a date, so it was formatted as a date. And what we did is we just pressed delete. So we deleted the date itself, but not the format of the cell. Therefore, this cell still has some data. It is formatted as a date. And that's why the scroll bar doesn't want to let go of that cell because Excel thinks we need it. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to get rid of that. Okay, basically there are two ways that I'm going to show you how to solve this problem. Now, the first is kind of a 10 year old approach, which works, but doesn't really work. And so I'm going to show it to you and I'm going to tell you why it's not really a solution. And then the second one, now that one is a proper solution for this. And there's actually a third option that I'm not going to show you uh, because it's done with VBA but I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to the blog post where I'm, where you have all the VBA code where you can easily copy paste it and then use it. Um, it so you can just copy it out there. And let's go to the 10 year old solution. So the 10 year old solution will actually be this. So at this point, right? My data is down to 100, but the scroll bar goes down to 300. And I don't like that. So the only thing I want to kind of secure here is I need my scroll bar to go only down to 100. That's it. So I need to be able to smoothly scroll down to the end of my data. And what you can do is you can simply select row 101, go down to the very bottom of the sheet, and then just say, I need you to hide all these rows. And what we've achieved effectively is that now the scroll bar goes down only to row 100. Now, is this a proper solution? I would say no. Basically, if you just want to input some data in 101, in row 101, you need to unhide and then, you know, go through the entire uh, process again. So this, not really a solution, but it does kind of work. Now I'm gonna unhide all the rows again, and I'm gonna show you a proper solution. So the proper solution would actually be this. If I go down to row 100, and more or less do the same thing I did before, so select row 101, and then go Control, Shift, down arrow. So select all the way to the bottom of this sheet. Now if I just press Delete, we already know that wouldn't work right? Because that only deletes the values in the cells, but not the formatting of the cells. But if I press control minus, what Excel does is it effectively deletes those rows, deletes everything within them. So the, the values, the formatting, everything, it just deleted those rows, replaced them with the new ones, but those are fresh ones, which have no data. And at this point, if I go up again and just say, save, at this point, my scroll bar goes only down to row 100. 
which is exactly what I want. So this is a proper solution to this problem. Now, sometimes you're going to have a slightly different problem where it's actually an object that is kind of in your way or actually making the scroll bar go all the way to, I don't know, row 1000. And with objects, it's a slightly different ball game. But either way, you're still going to have to select from here and all the way down. The problem is control minus deletes those cells, those rows. Now, if the object is tied to a cell, then it will get deleted. But if not, it's going to stay there. So that's not really solving your problem with the scroll bar. But what you can do is select it all, then go control G, which is go to say special and say, I want you to only select objects. Click OK. Now, in, in this case, it's not going to find anything. So, oh, sorry, there is an object. It's this. Um, but this one doesn't really do anything. So if I delete this one, I didn't do anything. Uh, but in, in your case, it's going to find objects that are below. And you can just simply delete them with the delete key. And that will also solve your scroll bar problem. So you delete them, click Save, and now you have a clean Excel with where the scroll bar only goes to where your data ends. So that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Hello and welcome to another Excel tutorial. Now this one, let me paint a problem for you. Now sometimes, 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 Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner Sometimes I feel like Excel is my partner Yeah <laughs>